Hello and welcome to the new series that I'm doing on how to web develop using Linux and its tools. I'm actually using Windows because I can't get a video codec thing to work in Linux and I can't get it to record audio and video and stuff. So let's just get started. I'm going to actually use Oracle's VM virtual box and we're just gonna go this through this first example just by creating a new virtual box I'm just gonna name this web development and this is gonna be a Linux operating system and using Ubuntu, I'm actually using xUbuntu, but it's still part of Ubuntu. Just gonna click next. I'm personally gonna set my memory up to 1024. Click next. New hard disk. And you're gonna want to click that, or if you have one because you've used this before or whatever. And just can click next. I usually just do a virtual box disk image, a virtual box. I do dynamically allocated, which means that as it, well, it has its own definition here. I'm not even going to bother explaining. So I'm going to actually set this to 10 gigs because I don't want to run out of space at any point. Just hit create and then create again and over here you will get this web development thing or whatever you decided to name your virtual machine if you don't have a virtual box you can find it online I will include a link in the description below so I'm just going to double click on that and then this is going to pop up and the first thing you want to do is click next and make sure you have a Linux image that you would like to use for this because well it's Linux so first I, I usually keep mine in the downloads folder you have to click the this little folder button right over here so to bring up the choose a virtual CD or DVD disk and it has to be IS, ISO file and I have it right here and it's using like this Ubuntu 12.04 I'll just click open and next and it should at one point after I start it it should work almost flawlessly do not show this message again and I'm going to want to stick with English, but if you guys are using a different language, I guess you can choose that. I'm going to start that up. Click the install or enter into the install. I'm hoping that this is the UI install. If not, okay. We can just go through it like this. You select your language for the install. Uh, you select your location. And if you want to configure your keyboard whatever way you want you can do that I usually never detect my keyboard layout because I know what it is I usually have the or I always have the English US and then just the general in English and none of the other variations I don't even know where they get those variations from because well I don't get it. It's just different variations of the keyboard. I've never actually seen one other than the normal keyboard that you would see that come with most computers. But I guess you can just buy a separate one. Okay. And here we go. It's scanning the CD ROM at one point. After this, it should allow us to choose our username and s all that fun stuff and set up the, D or the 
Wi or not Wi-Fi, but Ethernet and stuff, which VirtualBox will set up for itself. But I'll go through that with you guys also. This might actually take a little while to do because I always remember this taking a long time for me to do. But it seems to be running fairly okay. Oh, it's up with this whole black line down at the bottom. I've never had that before. Working with VirtualBox. But then again, I can't remember the last time I was installing a Linux machine. I actually had like 20, or not 20, like a bunch of different virtual machines that I had set up. Okay, host name. I'm just going to leave this as Ubuntu because I don't want to worry about this sometime later. Just going to hit Ubuntu, or hit Enter. And then you're going to want to put in your full name. Like so, and just hit enter, and then for your username, you put whatever you want as your username. You should either put your first name. I'm just gonna leave it like this because I don't, as I said, I do not want to worry about it. And then you have to choose a password. I'm going to choose a new password. Then I, I, I am going to remember so I don't forget it. So you guys choose the password that you want or not, what, what not. This could also work if you're actually installing this all on a new computer and you're just watching this side by side, which would be surprisingly weird if you were actually doing that, because that surprised me. Anyway, I'm going to choose my password, and I'm just going to stick with the easy password. That I have. It's eight characters. You can hit enter and it's going to ask for the, for the password again. And hit enter again. Would you like to encrypt your home directory? I did this for the first time last time I installed this. And I actually ran into a problem, and every time I boot up, I have a problem. So I'm just going to say no. And it should auto detect where you are I'm in the Los Angeles time zone which is correct so I hit yes it should if you're connected to the internet okay let's see what's next well, oh partitions okay and you're gonna do whatever you feel safe. Make sure you know what you're doing here because I'm not gonna be responsible for you ruining or destroying your Windows install if you're installing this using the not a virtual machine. But I'm using a virtual machine, so I will just use my entire disk. You be, I will not be held responsible for any ruining of operating systems other than ruining a virtual machine like this. Anyway, let's guided and select the partition, and there you go. Let's go and compute the partitions. It should write changes to disk. Yes, please. Because writing changes to disk is a good idea because otherwise you don't have the whole operating system and then you're just screwed. You guys gotta let me know how you like these tutorials at some point. You guys can like it down at the bottom, or you can uh, leave a comment. I don't know if the vid uh, the audio will actually lag on this, because sometimes I get audio lag, sometimes I don't. I might actually have to end this video sometime soon. We'll see about that, though. Because this might not actually take as long to install as I thought it would. The, the next part, two parts in the tutorial will be, uh, I think, 
installing updates and then setting it up so we can make the virtual box completely covering the screen minus the taskbar at the bottom and the, this whole top bar with the egg the close, maximize, and minimize buttons and of course the whole telling you what the window is but I think that these tutorials are a good idea, especially for people who don't know Linux or think it's for just hackers. This is to show you that it's actually a really good system that you can actually use for web development or something. We're going to be, we're not even going to start web development for a couple of tutorials, but I really hope you guys enjoy these tutorials because I enjoy doing these tutorials and I absolutely love working with Linux. The other problem with Linux is that actually there are two. It gets a bad rep because all hackers use Linux and it also is not compatible with a lot of the specialty programs such as Adobe uh, the Adobe programs and Autodesk and stuff like that, but it's also audio recording software. But they have their own way of getting around that, and I personally think it works fairly adequately. It's Linux is just a fun operating system once you know how to use something. And we'll also, in these tutorials, be going over a little bit on how to use the, the terminal, or as many people would say, it looks a lot like the uh, command prompt in Windows, which many people probably actually don't use, but, but I'm talking about the, the little black window that you open with the white text. And it, here, I'll show you all this is actually loading it's actually right here and this is what you get this this is the command prompt and we'll be working with something very similar in Linux called the terminal which essentially is just linking us to the entire system I think for right now I'm going to st stop this I'm going to close this I'm going to stop this tutorial and start a new one. If that isn't, or if that's okay with you. So we, I think we're pushing this back one more tutorial based on what we have right now. So I'm just going to hit stop. I'll be right back in the next tutorial. Please like, subscribe, and to just be there. Alright, well. I'll see you later. Bye.